So here at Tata Steel UK, we're known for our innovation and generation of new ideas. One of which won the Bright Ideas Award at the recent Innovation Awards, which was the Atlas Inspection Buggy. Now I'm delighted to say I'm with Chris Sirocco, who's the project lead today, here in front of the blast furnaces. And we just conducted an inspection of some of the ducting here at the furnaces. First of all, could you explain to us a concept behind the inspection buggy? How did the idea first come about? Uh, so it started off about 18 months ago. Um, we were looking at different ways so, to inspect the, the ductings uh, unmanned. Obviously, the, one of the biggest problems we have is putting people into these dangerous areas. But the safety aspect is the biggest part of it. Uh, we then spoke to multiple com uh, companies all over the world about getting them in to do these for us. And every single one of them came back with the same problem, was the fact that the iron ore would cause problems with the, with the, the mechanics that they had and the, they weren't willing to put their expensive bits of kit into, into our ducts. So we, we decided that it was time for us to develop our own. So in terms of the actual technology itself and the bit of kit we're talking about, mm -hmm. First of all, it looks, it looks great fun, mm -hmm. right? Um, but it's more serious than that. Yeah. Talk us through some of the technological advancements and, and, and I understand it's actually bespoke to us here in Tata Steel. Yeah, so uh, the buggy that you've seen today is the first part of, of a two-parter that we're building. Uh, the buggy you've seen today, we got two cameras on it. So it, one is a three-axis camera, which can be controlled via software that we got. And the other one is the forward-facing camera, which we just use for the actual driving. We only had the one of them mounted today just for easy use. Um, the other things we're looking at adding to it, or I've started to add to it, we've got a GPS so that when we start finding any problems that we can actually GPS mark it so that the, the works area then knows exactly where it is. Like today we were in a duct which was nearly 200 meters long. So then we could mark it in that duct where you could see the problem and then they send them the still pictures of it and they know exactly where to go then for, to have the problem. Well, as you've seen today though, we didn't come across anything in that area. We're looking at predictive, so we could so we could tell that over say a span of 12 months, this a certain area have lost a one millimeter thickness. We could then say, right, in two years time, you're gonna have to change that, this bit of ducting out because he's gonna come, he's coming towards the end of his life and you're gonna be saving from, from, from breakdowns and failures and hopefully saving money, possibly saving lives. A huge success story, obviously. So just looking forward to the future, sort of next steps, any further developments you're looking at for the buggy? Yeah, like I said, uh, we got some big, um, we got some big updates coming soon. It's all, it's all going to be custom developed by two of our guys. One of them happens to be a six month apprentice. He's only been here six months. So he's been heavily involved in it. Um, so we're hoping to have that ready for trial in the next couple of months. And this is, this will be the big one. This will be the one where we, you know, it's, there's going to be lots of things where this can go around the, the site and, and make a big difference and save the company. We think a lot of time and money. Well, there we go. I mean, they say innovation knows no bounds and it, it looks like it's only on, onwards and upwards for this project. Chris, thanks so much for your time. Can't wait to come back and, and see you again and see what happens in the future. Lovely. Thank you very much.